40 years ago, uh, Cranfield set up its aircraft accident investigation course. So we're celebrating 40 years of that course uh, and getting people together who've done the course, run the course, uh, or might be interested to find out a bit more about it. It's been an amazing two days. We wanted to bring people here and show them what we do and send them away of having learnt something new. So uh, we organised some behind the scenes tours of things like our, our crash simulations, our use of drones, uh, some work we're doing uh, on eye tracking. Uh, and then we organised some workshops where people could find out about things like drone safety, helicopter safety research, uh, including an update from Airbus and, and Rolls-Royce who've been fabulous supporters uh, over the years. And then today we've got a, a conference on the second day which has covered everything from how the course began. We've had a chief executive's perspective, uh, a chief investigator's perspective uh, and even the surviving crew of a very famous uh, incident uh, a few years ago. The last two days, it's, it's amazing. The people who came to the conference, they're they also happy to speak to and share their um, experience with you. I felt really privileged to be here and to be part of the conference. It's been a fantastic opportunity to network um, with people high up in other companies, for example, the, uh, the head of the AEIB. Also within my own company, I've met other representatives from Rolls-Royce here from a non-engineering side of things got chatting to pilots about their experiences. Well it's a fantastic um, gathering together of many from across the, across the community, across the industry, um, both uh, old, old and new to uh, renew friendships, to uh, share experiences um, and uh, you know to continue that process of learning from each other which is really what, what it's all about.